everyone in this video i will explain how to modify a parameterized mapping let's see uh, in this case uh, i will show you how to modify the mapping uh, in which uh, the database and the tables are parameterized so i will explain the steps in step one once the tables or files are updated maybe columns or data types uh, have been updated or columns added or removed uh, in the database or in the source directory then what you need to do is go to the mapping in place of parameter provide the hard-coded database and tables or file names then refresh the table or file in source of then refresh the mapping task and run the task then um, once the mapping task is completed and if you validate uh, the data and if changes are fine and reflecting the data correctly then uh, parameter the database and table or file names in the mapping again and run the job and validate the data let's go to the mapping as you can see this is the mapping m underscore param i have already created let's go to the source i have uh, already parameterized the db connection uh, connection ora prm src and in source type i have mentioned parameter and the parameter name uh, for the table name is uh, source table prm you can see here i have already created two import parameters those two parameters i have used here in source and uh, uh, let's go to the fields as you can see i have parameterized the uh, source table so field names are not visible and i have created this uh, mapping task uh, let's run the mapping task go to my jobs the task is running now it has uh, got completed now source name records target name records let's go to the source table go to the parameter file as you can see here this is the parameter for connection and uh, this is the parameter for table name emp123 let's go to the table you can see here emp123 is the table data is there then let's go to the target directory As you can see whatever is there in the source table all records have been loaded let's close it now so what i need to do i i want to update the data type or oh, sorry the uh, length length of this description field let's see go to columns description so instead of 10 i will make it uh, 500 and here instead of uh, 10 i will make it uh, 50 or which one am i missing okay so make it uh, So I have modified uh, the length for job and the description. Click OK. Then let's go to data. We'll add some value for job. Let's modify this. Production value. Let's go to description. Description. I will make it. Um, so there should be some random records. Now save this. Then again for Clark. Manager. One two three four five six seven ten. And here also. Now commit it. I have modified the 
table column data types and the data well let's run the mapping task the mapping task is running now it has uh, completed let's go to the target Press this. Yeah, you can see nine zero nine. Open this. Yeah. So this has been already created. Yes, as you can see here, the length of job was 10, it was 9, that's why only 9 characters have been loaded. Let's go to the table, <coughs> as you can see for this record employee number 3000, um, I think it's more than 20, but only few characters have been loaded emgg you can see here only up to nine characters uh, the records have been loaded one two three four five six seven eight nine yes so the remaining uh, data has been truncated as we have not refreshed the mapping so what we need to we need to modify the source so how to do that to modify the source first you need to use the hard coded value for example if it's a uh, connection for oracle i have to use oracle then let's close the file then remove this use single object select the table let's see what i have used emp123 Search with EMP. You can see EMP one two three. As you can see here, and the table has been refreshed now. I can see previously it was uh, something. Now it um, changed to five hundred. Save this. Let's go to the next transformation and see if uh, these are propagated properly. Yes, string 500. Let's go to the target. Incoming fields. Yes, this is reflecting properly. Now, next thing is we need to modify the mapping task. As uh, we have removed the parameters. Just need to refresh. Now run the mapping task. Let's wait for the job to complete. The job is running now. It succeeded now. Let's go to the target directory, refresh the directory. As you can see here, whatever is there in the source have been loaded. Previously, only few characters uh, were loaded. Let's go to the job. As you can see, previously it was showing up to nine characters. Now, whatever is there, the updated data is uh, getting loaded. So our data validation uh, completed. Next thing is we need to uh, revert back the hard coded value to the parameterized values. So let's go to the source. T 
click on parameter connection over appearing then on source type select parameter then in, in uh, table select the parameterized table name save it next thing is as we are parameterized already so we need to modify the mapping task click on edit as you can see previously the source was not visible now it's visible click on next provide the values this is the value for db connection and the next thing Not this it is emp one two three click on finish now run the mapping task It's running now. Yes, not succeeded. Let's go to the target and uh, refresh this. And yes, as you can see, after parameterizing, same values are getting loaded. So, in this way. One can modify a parameterized mapping in which uh, the database name and the source uh, target uh, table of file names are parameterized. Thank you.